accessible supports, CBS, CBFS. As most of you know, CBFS is our largest program serving adults in Western Mass. Services and supports are flexible to meet the needs and preferences of people who receive services and can include residential, outreach, finding employment, um, going back to school, engaging in community activities, or strengthening family connections. Tammy has been receiving CBFS services from CHD since t July 2014, when she was released from incarceration. Tammy has struggled with symptoms of bipolar disorder, substance abuse, legal issues for most of her life. These days, she likes to stay focused on simple positive things like gardening, writing, and enjoying the outdoors. Tammy? morning and I would like to thank CHD for inviting me to speak and just give a little bit of my background um, I was diagnosed at age 19 with bipolar disorder after the recent death of my father and for 30 years I've suffered with it with um, going down so many different roads in my life um, it took me places where I never thought it would institutions hospitals um, and the biggest thing was uh, my problem with the lie. I also got into drinking alcohol because I felt so much better and um, I, I never thought I had a problem. I thought it was everybody else. It was the illness, the two serious illnesses that I had that helped me not to see what was really going on. I was rested in my life up until now. I haven't been in the past two years, but up until I was incarcerated in 2012 about 50 times um, most to do with um, the drinking and stuff like that. And um, the last time I was arrested, I was sentenced to two and a half years. And that was when I had my wake up call, when I found out that, um, I'll say, see if it's the alcohol that's really doing this to me. But no, while I was incarcerated, I had no alcohol, no substances, and I still got sick. Come to find out it was from simple ibuprofen that affected the efficacy of the lithium that I take. So long story short, I got out of jail. The whole time I was there, my main thing was I hope nothing happens to my mom while I was there. So that um, that prayer was answered. I got out and um, I started through DMH, connected me with CHD, and um, that's when I started getting services. I was just in the beginning of it when I did relapse for a day. And thank God um, I was on probation looking at four, going back for four more years. And it wasn't, if it wasn't for the help of CHD peer support, addiction specialists helping me, went and spoke on my behalf. I don't know, they maybe saw something that I was going to have support this time, which I never had before. <laughs> so um, they, they stuck up for me and they gave me a second chance. And I'm standing here today mainly due to the... Um, support that I've received. I can't say enough. I don't want to do this. I can't say enough about what they've done for me from the peer support, the addictions, all the staff, down to the receptionist and the clients there. And um, I think of them as my second family. So um, when I got out, I was about, about a year, a little over a year. And um, my mom did end up passing away in November, but I am so grateful that I had that time with my mom, thanks to CHD, because I know I wouldn't have been there for her if I was drinking or just, you know, not having a positive backbone to support me to get through this. Um, so today, I've been sober for two years, and I can say that I love getting up every day, where at one point, several points in my life, I didn't want to do that. And um, now I just look forward with the sunshine through the rain for me now, and um, I attend a writing group there with hopes of writing a book so somebody else does not have to go through this heartache. It took me all these years to finally, I'm 53 now and it took me this long to um, finally come to grips. I didn't know I had a problem until I stopped it and the only reason I stopped it was because I would, got incarcerated. And it was, it's a shame that it took that long and um, I just would like to say that CHD is there for me at the drop of a hat. They've always been, they put up with me, you know, my ups and downs, and um, I just can't say enough about support. So um, with that, I would like to thank you all for listening and allowing me to speak, and I appreciate all the help.
Thank you so much.